Hello everyone, welcome to another movie review. I am Timmy Trico coming at you yet once again, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And today I'm bringing you two movie reviews. The first one is Renegades, which was released on June 2nd, 1989. It is a crime dramedy movie that received mixed to negative reviews with critics. It has a 20% on Rotten Tomatoes, a 5.4 out of 10 on IMDb, and an 85% on Google. This movie had a $16 million budget, and it made $9 million at the box office. And it was directed by Jack Shoulder and written by David Rich. And it stars Kiefer Sutherland, Lou Diamond Phillips, and Jamie Gertz, respectfully. And this movie is about an undercover cop, Buster, who is trying to uh, capture a bad cop. And while doing so, he gets caught up in uh, not only his own problems as far as the case goes, but with another person, Hank, who is played by Lou Diamond Phillips. He is an Indian who is um, in the city uh, putting on display a, a certain artifact from their tribe uh, that is really sacred to the tribe. And while doing so, they are caught in the middle of a gunfight. Uh, Hank's brother is uh, shot. And from there, Hank and Buster team up to go after the guys who um, not only robbed this place of its diamonds, uh, millions and millions of diamonds, but to go after uh, Hank's brother Shooter. Uh, and that's what this movie's about. Jamie Gertz um, has a small role. She plays Barbara. She is uh, girlfriend of one of the um, um, jewel thieves. And that's pretty much what this movie's about. I mean, it's it's a typical 80s movie, um, especially when you got two, two buddies playing uh, side by side. Uh, one's a cop, one's just a citizen. But you find the same things in like 48 hours where it's a cop and uh, a thief. Uh, they team up. But this is a good duo, but it's not one of the best that I've seen. You know, when I think of good ones, I think of, like I said, Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte, um, Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd, uh, Murphy and Judge Reinhold, uh, along with John Ashton. Of course, I'd be a trio, but uh, nonetheless, this is this is an okay movie. Um, I found it to be actually pretty funny. Uh, especially with the two male leads. Uh, some of the uh, acting was a bit, uh, I would call it overacting. But for an eight late, well, actually a 1989 movie, it, it wasn't bad. It didn't make uh, any money at the box office that actually lost money. Uh, but I find myself in love in these 80 movies the more I watch of them. Uh, despite the negative reviews or uh, if it made money at the box office or not, it doesn't matter to me. I judge a movie based on certain things. Uh, I don't really nitpick a whole lot, but I think the uh, character development could have been a little bit better. The uh, acting, especially uh, of more of the co-stars. I'm not talking about the three uh, known stars, Sutherland, Gertz, and Diamond Phillips. Some of the other ones I question, you can tell they're they're not quite as good as those three. In fact, those three, to me, stand out in this movie, um, which necessarily ain't a great thing, but if this is an enjoyable movie, I would watch it again. So with that, I will give Renegades 
a 7 out of 10 and uh, two thumbs up. I enjoyed it. Uh, so definitely check it out if you got the time. You should be able to find it on Stars on Demand or Netflix. Uh, shouldn't be too hard to find. Other than that, I thank you guys for watching yet another movie review. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and let's talk about movies. I love movies. Any genre, with the exception of silent movies, I'm not really a fan of. Uh, but any genre, uh, romantic comedies, straight up comedies, action, doesn't matter. Uh, but other than that, I thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time in the next movie review, which will be the movie The Fourth Angel. So I look forward to that review and other reviews here shortly. But thank you for watching and check you later.